What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's JJ. And Tyler. And we're kicking off the second round of more league play girls volleyball style with the oldest rivalry in Long Beach, Wilson visiting Polly. And this was an absolute classic, a five-setter the first time these two teams met. Now we're on Atlantic. Everyone chasing Rebecca Strilo and first-year head coach Carlos Persino. The Bruins undefeated in more league and atop the standings. Jackrabbits without one of their big hitters for this one. Zayna Bowen's going to be out of this one just like she was out of that first contest, maybe for the rest of the year, unfortunately. And also, unfortunately, hotter than Barstow in August in the RPP. Cue the Nelly. It was definitely hot in there. And uh, in the beginning, Jackrabbits had a plan. Serve it away from Rebecca Strilo, play defense on her side, and then luckily for them, they were able to take advantage of some Wilson miscues that got them going. Serving away from Strilo gives the defense a chance to overplay to her side, as you can see right here. And then, as you'll see right here, the double touch gets Polly going. That defensive tenacity for Polly going to carry them to a big lead in the first set. Suava with the block, and then with Bowens on the sideline, got to find different swingers. How about Lindsey Ray with one of her 13 kills? And Ivana Escobedo off the bench doing it. 11-3 Jackrabbits. However, Wilson going to get back into this one with their middles. Lauren Howard Chavez with some great no-look sets from Mary Hernandez. And how about Maddie Wilhelm also playing some D. Big block there, and then so low roof. Cue the time machine. And then it was Rebecca Strilo versus Rochelle Suava. Seven ties between 15 and 25. Plenty of mistakes mis mixed into that. But Rochelle Suava, oh goodness, what a force at the net. Yeah, she really put the team on her back, as did Strilo. This one from Strilo going to put Wilson up. Polly going to come back and tie it. However, Castro coming up with a big kill right there. And then when she's back to serve, apropos of the set, a mistake is going to end it. Wilson's going to take the first one, 33-31. We go to the second set, and the Bruins really rolled that momentum over. They jump out to a 7-0 lead. It looked like this was building towards a classic, but Wilson in the second set started to look like they were going to pull away, but then mistakes. Uh, the middles get involved. It's starting to look very reminiscent of set one, JJ. Yeah, Nikki Withers right there with the block and then Swabble with the block. So they're back in this set. It's 1918 Wilson. How about the Strelo steam engine? Hey, yo, that over ball is going to get five all the way live. And she's going to go nine for her next nine. Putting the team on her back, speaking of, they did get a little lucky though. As you can see right there, Rochelle Suava having to serve from the back line because she's on the back row. That's going to take her off the net and give Wilson a chance to see some other people swing, which I'm sure they were very happy about. But also, if you see Strilo right here put down her ninth straight, you don't have to put it over Suava, which is also very fun. 25-21, Wilson. Yeah, Bruins definitely took advantage. And then in set five, Holly uh, trying to fight a little bit, but it merely turned into a formality. Uh, the air was out of the building for the Jackrabbits. It was very hot in there. You see the last one goes long. Wilson will take it. Winner, winner, sweep them's dinner, JJ. Indeed, obviously, Wilson very high right now. Uh, Lauren Moreno leading the team with nine digs. Strilo with 23 kills, three blocks. Unbelievable. Lot to smile about in Bruin country. To see if they can hold on to the top spot in the Moore League, you stay right here, GazetteSports.com.